was no sign there was any problems with Ellie whatsoever. Developed perfectly normally alongside her sister. All the milestones were hit, sitting at six months, walking at 11 months. And then suddenly, probably about, probably around, just before she turned one, I noticed she was drinking a lot of water. That was it, she wasn't ill in any way, she just drank a lot of water and she wasn't as big as her sister. We had diabetes in the family, so I thought I'll take her to the doctors just to get her checked out. The first diabetes check came back um, negative, blood sugar was fine, but there was protein and glucose in her urine. After a matter of weeks, we got the diagnosis of cystinosis. Cystinosis is a very, very rare metabolic um, genetic condition, meaning she's inherited a faulty gene from both me and her dad. Neither of us knew that we had a faulty gene um, as carriers. It doesn't affect us. It was a big shock um, because it was something that we weren't aware of. We didn't know what it was, so then we had to go off and, and learn and research. It's an abnormal accumulation of the amino acid cysteine that can't get out of every single cell in Ellie's body. Um, in everybody else, it would just pass away as a waste product, but in Ellie, it can't get out and it eventually turns into crystals, which in turn damages every single organ in her body. Basically, it's to do with the kidneys not working correctly, it produced excessive urine. The kidneys leak essential minerals that she needs to grow um, and develop. So potassium, sodium, glucose. So for Fanconi, in order to treat that, we have to replace everything that she's losing. And it kind of runs hand in hand with cystinosis. throughout the night, throughout the day. Whenever we leave the house, all the medication has to come with us. Because of the Fanconi syndrome, um, 10 to 12 nappy changes a day, so you can imagine how many nappies we have to take out with us, all alongside with Molly, who obviously doesn't have the condition whatsoever, and it's just a normal toddler playing with her sister, really. Well, she's amazing. I mean, uh, anybody that meets her would pretty much say that she's uh, externally doesn't appear to have anything any issues because she's always smiling always laughing always playing um, it's just this unfortunate internal problem um, which when it when it sort of flares up is very very bad without the treatment that she has now she wouldn't live past 10 um, that's how essential all the medication is to her every single day there's no cure um, it's progressive degenerative and at the moment it's about keeping Ellie as well as we can for as long as possible. We're hoping, fingers crossed, that she will she will be okay long term. We're still hoping for you know doctors to find a cure at some stage, maybe um, improving upon the drugs that she takes, but yeah, at the moment I'm just positive and hopeful.